Welcome to another episode of Rebel Rogue, where today I will be showing you how to use washers and thin down inks. Rebel Rogue. Washes and Citadel shades, which are essentially washers, they just changed the name slightly, are a way of shading miniatures and make and shading the crevices mainly, the recesses, the recessed areas on models to make them darker than than the base colour. For example here I have a cloak, it's red, but there is it's all flat. It's very, very flat. There's no variation. So for example if I wanted these crevices here to be darker, then I'd use a wash or an ink, which is what I'm going to show you how to do today. A wash can be bought from Games Workshop or any provider in Games Workshop doing them in these bottles. They're alright. They can be used straight from the pot. You do not need to thin them. Whereas there is another way of making washes. You can there is several videos on the internet on how to make them, but there is a way using inks. Quite simply you take an ink, such as black ink, which I've just put on my palette, and then you take some water and you just mix it in till it's quite thin. It will be slightly more pigmented than a wash, but it will work much the same. So I'm just doing it in a one to one ratio of black ink to water. It's quite a quite a good ratio. Inks can be bought from several places. Vallejo do quite cheap inks. They do last quite a while. The black ink I'm using I've had for five years. It's really good. It's very useful for other things. I'll be doing another video on tinting with inks and other such things you can do with inks. But in this video we're going to focus on washes. I am going to be using a thinned down black and I'll be applying it with this brush. This is a size 5 brush. It has been I recently cleaned it so it's quite smooth, quite useful. So we're going to take our miniature. We're going to take our black wash onto our thing. Just tap off the excess a bit. Might be off slightly. Doesn't need to be all off. You do want quite a bit. Then you just apply it like so onto the model. Like so. Watch out for it pooling. You don't want the wash to pool in the rec too much. If it's in the recesses, if it's really thick, especially if it's Citadel wash, it will look horrible. You want to make sure it goes in the recesses. This is the first technique on using wa washes, which is just to wash or ink everything. There is another technique which I will show you in a minute, but I may need—I might just have to explain it because I don't know if I've got a model. I have a model. Yeah, I probably do have a model. Or I'll just showcase it on a model. So just watching out for it pooling. If it pools, just carefully move it on a bit. This crevice here, it's a bit of a crevice, so I'm just going to apply a bit of wash down it and allow it to pull there so I get a bit of shading. You can see this is quite glossy. Vale um, Vallejo ink does dry quite matte, so does uh, Citadel wash drives a bit more satin, but if you get Citadel wash gloss, it will dry gloss. So I will find an another miniature and I will show you the second technique you can use with washers. I'd just like to quickly apologise about the buzzing in the previous clip. As always, I seem to keep on forgetting to take the power out of my phone, the charging cable because it causes too much buzz. I'm really sorry if that put you off. So the second technique is called spot washing. We're going to take our same size 5 brush, we're going to take our black ink, but rather than apply it to the whole area, and especially with this model, I don't want to apply it to the whole area because I haven't painted this model yet. I've just undercoated it. So I'm just going to put it into the recesses, the eye lenses, and just carefully down the areas like so. You can then touch up around the wash very carefully and you apply this nice shade, nice shading. If you're using something like an oil wash, there are plenty of videos online on how to make them, how to use them, like you see there, you can see the shading. You can of course just put a spot down and it will spread, but if you're very careful you can just sort of apply a very fine wash to the out, 
outer edges to provide a bit of definition. There is another technique called black lining, but I will be going over that in another video, as it is more, it's not very commonly used nowadays, but it's still effective, still as effective as it was. So by just applying it to recesses, we don't change the colour of the model quite as much as we would otherwise. That is spot washing. Just carefully apply, carefully around there, like so. I'm not going to go over the whole model, mainly because I need to paint this model and I'm still waiting on the armour colour of Dragon Red because it's going to be a Blood Angel. So, yeah, I'll see you at the end of the video. Quick tips and things to remember about washing. Don't let it pool in the recess. Don't let it pool on areas you don't want it to. Mi try to minimise pooling in the recesses and just tr don't allow it to be too thick. You don't need to thin it down, you can use it straight from the pot and just make sure that it really, well, it, you can let it tint the whole surface if you want to. If you're doing a spot wash, be careful to just put it only in the recesses rather than all over the model. It will give you very fine lines and such like. Quick thing I forgot to mention is allow this to dry for, well, 20 to anywhere from 20 minutes to an hour so that it's solidly dry. You don't want to be painting on top of this. You really don't. It will absolutely mess up whatever colour you're trying to put on afterwards and it will mess up the wash. A quick advanced technique is to quick little tip here, advanced technique for applying it to say cloaks or fabric is to apply it from the bottom up as shading never happens in the bottom of fabrics but it does happen at the top so I hope you've enjoyed the video feel free to feel free to subscribe if you liked it and want to see more leave a like if you liked it leave a comment if you want to if you want to just say hi if you want to well you could well if you want to say hi if you want to suggest any content or anything like that and if you feel like someone else will find this use video useful please share it with them i'm sure they will find it very informative as always thank you for watching and i'll see you next time